Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show how to publish applications to the users. So we have delivery group here. With the help of delivery group, we can assign applications to the users. So I have a one uh, VDA machine in this particular delivery group and I have a couple of applications. So I'll show that to you. So it should load in a few seconds. So these are the three applications that are available to the users. So I will just log in first and show you. So when I log in, I see these three applications, Command Prompt, MS Paint, and Notepad. Okay, so I'll just go back to Studio Console. We see Command Prompt, MS Paint, MS Paint, and Notepad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add new applications. So I'm going to Delivery Group, and I'm going to right-click on it. Okay, so once once you right click, you see an option called add applications. Click on add applications. Okay, so this window will pop up. Click next. Okay, now you see this on the screen. It says to add applications, click add and choose a source. Then select applications from that source. If you choose application groups, all current and future applications in selected groups will be added. You can also place new applications in a non-default folder and, and change application properties. So when you click on add, you see a couple of options here. You see from start menu, you see manually, you see existing and you see application group. So what happens is when you click on from start menu, it would reflect it it would show all the applications that are already available in the start menu so basically it is searching for all it is searching for available machine so it would show like a list of 30 or 40 applications now on the screen and you can select whichever applications you want you can select those and you can click next so this would take a couple of seconds I'm sorry, a couple of minutes. So if you see here, it says zero of 34 applications selected. So when you select the first option, add applications from start menu, it would show all the applica applications that are readily available. So what you can do is you can select whichever application you require. You can select those. So they are coming up slowly. Okay, let's say I would like to use just calculator. Okay, so I'm selecting only calculator here. So this, this would take a lot of time. So I'm just selecting calculator. If you want to select multiple applications, that is also possible. You can just select like this. So in this uh, scenario, I'm going to select just calculator and I'm going to click OK. So this takes a while, so please bear with me. Okay, if you see now, calculator has been selected. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click next. Okay, now it gives a summary. You can just cross check before you finish. So the delivery group is finance windows OS and the applications to add is just calculator and the folder is applications. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click finish. And this application will be added. So if you remember this process is adding application through start menu. Now I'll go back and show a different method once this is done. So this is how you can publish applications. So these are uh, by default, these are Windows applications like Calculator, MS Paint, Notepad. All these are uh, the Windows operating system default applications. But if you want to point, if you want to use some application that you want to install on Windows Server operating system, that you can do that. And you can give the path. You have to specify the path. I will show that in a few minutes. Once this is done, I will show that. So this is in the process of creating new application called calculator. So let's wait. If you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me to make more content like this. Okay, this should be available in the next two minutes. Okay, seems like uh, the application has been added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click applications here. So if you see here, the calculator application has been added. So just now we have added this calculator applications. And it is reflecting here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to delivery group and I'm going to add a different application. And I'm going to click next. So last time, if you remember, we selected from start menu. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to select manually. So here you can actually point the application. You can choose the path. So it is asking. OK, so. You can add applications from the virtual machine in this uh, delivery group or from a different network location. So you can specify the path here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sp specify a remote desktop connection and I'm going to click browse. Okay, it is asking for the path. And, I, and I'm going to specify this path and see. Okay, now we have a few applications here. 
So I'm going to select a remote desktop connection. Okay. And I'm going to click open. Okay. So this has been selected automatically. If you see here, the application name is MSTSC and the application name is MSTSC. So in this scenario, I'm just uh, showing a remote desktop connection application. But if you have installed some new application, any uh, application that you require in your environment, you can just point that particular path here. OK, and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click next. You can just cross check. And click finish. So I have shown the two ways of creating. Uh, I mean, adding applications. So one is the one is from the start menu. It will show it will show all the default Windows applications and the other one is the uh, from the path where you can actually uh, select the applications. You can just uh, point to the application path and you can publish the application. So let's go to applications and it should show remote desktop application as well now. OK, if you see now MSTFC. So this is the new application that we have created just now. OK, so what I'm going to do is this. These applications are already assigned to a user. OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to my storefront server. Now, once I log in, I should see the new applications. Now, one is calculator and the other one is MSTSC. So let's see how it goes. Let me click login. OK, let me click on applications. OK, so if you see now. Previously, we had command prompt MS Paint and Notepad. After publishing new applications, user could see calculator and also MSTSC. Let me click on MSTSC or remote desktop and see how it goes. OK, it's trying to launch. All right, it has launched now. Let's try to launch calculator as well, which we have published. OK, it's trying to launch. And it launched successfully. All right, guys, so uh, this is what I would like to show. I want I wanted to I wanted to show in this particular video. So I published a couple of applications and user could see the applications and user could launch it successfully. So I hope you find this information helpful. If you like it, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.